Now that we've explained many common commands and created motion from the terminal, let's write some programs. Here's a simple program that will do a square move with our x and y axes looping continuously. Type this into program 0 in the program editor and download. Then from terminal window, type lrun from the prog0 prompt to run it and or display any errors. Try this using incremental moves. How could we graph the motion? Pause the video and try using the XY plot. Okay, so in ACR view, on the left hand side, we'll go into the program editor. I'm going to presume that your EPL network is already up and your drives are enabled. So if you go into program 0, you'll notice that program and NP are already in there. That's good. We'll do a res X and Y to reset the position to 0. And then we're going to start with a label of loop. And set the XL decel STP for the stop ramp and the velocity of 5. x5, y5, x0, y0, and go to loop. Go ahead and press download project. Go ahead and download program 0. We only have memory allocated for program 0, so that would be the only program downloaded. And then if we go into the terminal emulator, if we type list, we can see our program there. Then if we want to do an L run, this will listen while we're running. And you'll notice that the motors are running back and forth. Take a look at that in the status panels. can see our positions moving back and forth. If we want to escape from that, press escape. That will get us back to the program zero prompt. It'll still be running the program, however, if you want it to stop running the program, just type halt. And then if we want to plot that, go into scopes, x, y, plot. So let's move this where we can see it. Go into the motion tab, and we're going to run prog0. We want this to download when the run button is hit, so go ahead and click the checkbox. Press OK. We're just going to show channel 1, so turn off channel 2. In terms of the sampling, let's go into the onboard sampling. 20 milliseconds would be fine. For the trigger source, let's go into the master and use the in, in motion bit. So go into the master and bit 516 is the in motion bit. That'll turn on when we start moving. So we want the rising edge to be triggered. Press OK. We're moving uh, five revolutions, and our motors are 8,000 counts. So five times 8,000 is 40,000 counts. We have four vertical divisions, so that would be uh, 40,000 divided by four would be 10,000 counts. So let's go ahead and set our vertical scaling to 10,000 units. And then for our axis parameters, we want the current position, axis 0, press OK, change that. Under axis.
and go ahead and click run. And you can see the square.